Dr. Boulieu, are women at greater risk for kidney disease than men? Well, in general, we say no. Both men and women have pretty similar risks. But when you think about the fact that about one in 10 uh, Canadians might have some degree of kidney dysfunction, there is still a huge uh, burden of CKD out there. There's a few um, diagnoses that are more common in women, things like urinary tract infections, mm -hmm. um, things like certain autoimmune conditions like right. lupus or different arthritis, and those can all lead to kidney dysfunction in some women. So in those populations, they are at a bit higher risk. Can you talk a little bit about how kidney disease impacts women differently than men? So still the most common diagnosis for both men and women are things like high blood pressure, diabetes being from certain ethnic backgrounds, um, a history of heart disease, mm -hmm. and some of those present differently in men and women as well. Um, women with autoimmune conditions definitely have a much higher risk mm -hmm. of having kidney disease. We actually don't know why a lot of this is yet. Mm -hmm. um, women also um, can develop kidney disease quite young and in their childbearing ages and be thinking of pregnancy mm -hmm. or been wondering about the risks in their children of the kidney disease that they have. So a lot of other things for women to consider when they're given a diagnosis of kidney disease. And you've just touched on something that I think um, a lot of women who have chronic kidney disease are probably wondering and that is, um, you know, those in their reproductive years, mm -hmm. am I going to be able to get pregnant? Mm -hmm. So those women who already know that they have CKD when they're pregnant, um, most women can still have a healthy pregnancy and do very well. It all, degree, it all depends on where you are in your stage of kidney disease. If you have pretty minor kidney disease or at the early stage, then there isn't much increased risk, but it's still very important that you plan out, if at all possible, the pregnancy. As the kidney disease progresses, you actually are less likely to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. And then if you are pregnant, there are some complications that may happen to mm -hmm. mom and may happen to the pregnancy. Um, once you're on dialysis, mm -hmm. it becomes quite difficult right. to even get pregnant, right. but not impossible. And that's because reduced fertility, fertility goes right. down. Yeah, a lot of the hormones that allow us to get pregnant are just those cycles aren't there anymore. But if you are on dialysis and you do become pregnant, mm -hmm. are there a number of increased risks, I guess, to mom and baby just by being on dialysis? So if you do either plan to get pregnant and you're a dial dialysis patient and you don't have a transplant pending, mm -hmm. that we usually increase the amount of dialysis that we give the woman to maximize the chance okay. of being able to get pregnant to start with. And then traditionally we told women that they would do quite poorly mm -hmm. if they um, got pregnant on dialysis, but there's been some really good uh, studies looking at giving patients more dialysis during the pregnancy and some very mm. positive outcomes for for mom and for Well that's for interesting because mm. you wouldn't think you would actually mm -hmm. get more dialysis while you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. 